Hey guys, Hayes here. So I'm gonna go and uh, go through the patch notes for patch 13. Yes, they uh, they put it up sort of uh, well early morning for us UK peeps. So very early morning for any anyone in the US as well. Um, kind of mid mid in the night kind of thing. A uh, really quick summary for the patch notes. I'm not gonna go uh, too too far through it. Repair kits enhancements. So this essentially means that you can improve your your armor and your weapons uh, with a buff. Like a buff, uh, obviously there's a standard buff and a uh, like a elite buff or like a rare uh, enhancement. Um, and the rare enhancements only come when you have elite skills uh, in like weapon maintenance uh, or the light armor and heavy armor skills, which I'll come into a second. So the enhancements essentially will be uh, reducing the uh, the damage that the uh, the the, um, the character receives through the armor, and also um, the weapons uh, enhancement will be the accuracy increase uh, and also malfunction chance so decrease in malfunction chance which is cool so moving on to skills uh, they have a new light armor and heavy armor skill essentially changes the wear of the armor when repairing it uh, and the damage uh, from melee weapons when struck that's in the light armor uh, and also the it reduces the the penalty of the mobility as well heavy armor skill uh, reduces the penalties mobility as well as blunt damage um, from from the armor and also uh, the wear of the armor when when repairing so they've reworked the charisma skill. The skill, uh, this skill's progression affects the price of insurance, paid extract, replacement of operational tasks, price of scab box, and the, the therapist healing service. Weapons and equipment, uh, GP25. That, so they got the underbarrel grenade launchers for uh, the M4s and the AKs, all that stuff. Uh, as we as we already knew, the SR2 uh, Varesk 9x21 submachine gun. Uh, the Steyr Org. There's two versions: the A1, and the A3, 556 assault rifles. You have the, uh, some new Glock, the Glock X, Glock 19X, sorry. The RSH, so Ash 12 Revolver, with the same ammunition as, as, as the Ash 12, but in, in Revolver version, huge. Co-op PvP expansion, so they've changed a few things with the co-op uh, co stuff. If you're not used it before, then it's not really important to you. For those that want to know, there's some, some different options here. Again, I'll, I'll link the patch notes in the, uh, in the description, so if you guys want to go and see this for yourself, like, you know, in full, then you can. We can just read this on the screen, I suppose. That also works. So, hideout, um, they've changed changed it. So, there's two new levels for the shooting range where you can uh, shoot moving targets. And, and you can also use the training program to improve your shooting accuracy. I don't know what that means. No idea. Um, so, we'll have to go and see what that means. Uh, I guess maybe that's like a passive increase in your accuracy, maybe. Or your... I, I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure, honestly. New stims. You got the alt... Abdul Boss 2. Again, we'll have to see what these do in actual raid. A new version of the old classics. So if, you know, if you know what the Abdul Boss 1 did, then Abdul Boss 2 is the new version of it. Uh, SJ12 um, TG Labs is uh, is like a body temperature increase and also uh, in increases your um, your uh, energy regeneration as well, uh, which is cool. So so it boosts energy like you like you would eat food, but you have a stim for it. Um, Blue Blood Perf Perf Perfatorin. <laughs> Perfect torrent, essentially, um, it speeds up metabolism and, and regenerates tissue, so obviously heals, I think. Tremadol, it, this is like a painkiller, and it also increases combat character, so it probably increases like strength, endurance, and it's also a painkiller as well. PNB as well, so it reduces the damage received, and also uh, accelerates tissue regeneration, so reduces damage received, and also uh, increases healing. Adding new voices for, for the bosses, Killer to Killer, Knight, Bird Eye, Big Pipe. Uh, some changes here, rebalancing of weapon ma mastering, progression, rebalancing um, trading prices, new bot items. So um, there, there's some changes to, to the rewards of quests, the current quests, the old quests, like conditions, rewards, they changed those and added new quests. Um, some quests in the chains now become available after a period of time. So they've time locked some of the quests in a quest line. So say, for example, Punisher, they might time lock a quest. I'm not I don't know how long this will be. So we'll have to just wait and see, honestly. Uh, improvements and changes in the hideout. Okay, that could that could obviously mean uh, gym because there's no gym in here. There's, is, they've not mentioned the gym at all in here. Um, as well as obviously, you, uh, there's no mention of the Lightkeeper and also the new boss and the access to the lighthouse they showed in the point thirteen patch trailer. Weird. I don't know. I guess they're going to try and just allow us to explore it and just understand it and get in there. Some spawn points, points for quest items have, have changed. So the uh, the items that are in places like fixed spots will now may be in different area, different spots in that area. So if it's in a room, it might be on the bed or on the on a shelf or on top of the TV or so. I don't know. 
just different areas in that area now. So you can't just go to a certain spot and be like, oh, there it is, you know, easy peasy, you gotta try and look for it a bit more. So some recipes of crafting items in the hideout will become available after after completing a quest. So now quest quest completion gives you stuff in the hideout to craft as well. A new type of extraction is available on, on streets of Tarkov. You'll need a green flare uh, to shoot up in the area before going to the exit. Otherwise you'll be shot by snipers when approaching it. that will be cool to see. And, 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 and you'll hear that too. You'll see the flare, you'll hear the snipers maybe. So that could be a, a really risky one to take, but also, you know, it could be like quite a close, like, you know, it could be one that's quite central. So easy to take, easy to take, but you need the, the flare for it. Uh, weapon malfunctions for bots, that's big because bots always have 93% and below durability, so they'll have malfunctions too. So moving on to FSR 2.1, again, like DLSS, but for AMD, they've improved that. That's cool. Rework the sound mechanics. So this is an interesting one. Uh, they've removed Steam Audio and replaced it with Oculus Audio. So essentially what they're saying is to uh, always have, they, they recommend enabling binaural audio still because this is part of the Oculus Audio, um, which is the new sound system they have. Uh, in the current implementation, the sound system handles, uh, system handles a much larger number of, of conditions. So that sounds good to me. I don't know what that means, but that sounds good. Um, much larger number of conditions, which, you know, handles better. Now, apparently, final adjustments of positions is, is available on factory, customs, woods, and so only four maps out of the, the 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 fair few that we have. There's only four maps that it is on. Thankfully, it's on streets, which is good. Customs, which is nice. I, I, I guess that it's a work in progress right now, so they're just kind of uh, putting it in there on the maps that are early in the wipe, and then they'll add it on to the ones later. So I imagine we'll probably get patched later on this wipe with the extra maps in there. I don't know what this sounds like, so we'll have to just wait and see. Different fixes. Uh, there's not a lot of important stuff here. Uh, a, a few different things, uh, different fixes for different things. You can have, obviously have a look if you want to uh, in the in the description below if you want to see what the uh, what these fixes are. Uh, memory leaks is always a good thing. So op op optimizations in terms of performance and memory leaks. So uh, that could obviously fix my issue with Lighthouse that I had where uh, I had to restart every time I played Lighthouse. It was weird. So that is that. Hopefully this is uh, this kind of like helps you kind of understand it in a sort of a, a really quick manner. Obviously there is a lot more that are missing out on this. Um, so just get in there and see or like wait for people to upload videos about different things, all that stuff. I'll be uploading some more videos, a load of more videos this this year. If you guys want more of this stuff, more in-depth stuff on Streets of Tarkov, uh, kind of like combat stuff for Streets of Tarkov, like learning streets in a, a big way, then please subscribe. I should be live uh, once this video goes up. I'll be live on Twitch. So if you guys want to come hang out, wait for the patch and uh, say hi, then feel free to do so. Um, but yeah, with that being said, uh, enjoy the wipe.